city founded by an immigrant from Haiti. Did you know the first settler of Chicago and founder of Chicago was a Haitian man by the name of Jean Baptiste Point Du Sable? That's why Chicago so turned. It was founded on warrior blood. Shout out my souls. And our history is very rich and beautiful too. And one of the most unknown things in American history is that Chicago was founded by a black man. Meet Jean Baptiste Point du Sable. He was the very first settler of Chicago, making him the founder. And remember I said that Black History Month isn't just for African Americans? Du Sable is actually believed to be from Haiti. Chicago was founded by Haitian men. The first permanent settler in what is today Chicago was a man named Jean-Baptiste Wendy Saab. He was born in Simac on the island of Haiti in 1745. Chicago was founded by Mr. Jean-Baptiste Point du Saab around 1790. He is Haitian. Hey, you. During this whole time period, there was a Haitian immigrant named Jean-Baptiste Point du Sable. A lot of you guys are probably already familiar with that name. He came from what's now Haiti. And was born in the year of 1745 in the region of St. Mark. I'm your host. So, come to dispel a rumor. It's a rumor going around that a Haitian invented Chicago, or the founder of Chicago, my bike can't invent Chicago. And it's just not true. You try to crowbar. Welcome back to Big Bad Podcast. I'm your host. So, I came to destroy a rumor. It's a rumor that the founder father of Chicago was a Haitian. Haiti didn't even exist. He was not a Haitian. He was from St. Dominique. I'm going to prove that and dispel all the rumors. We cannot let Caribbeans or Africans whole body way into American history. Let's go. America don't owe you citizenship. Like, I seen how black Americans in Chicago are mad at the immigrants who came here, you know, illegally and they got dumped off in Chicago. Chicago residents like, like, nah, like that. They would be like, no, get them the fuck out of here. We don't, we don't know these people. We don't know these people. We don't owe these people. Why are they in our community? That the government will bring people in, in, into the country. That's fine. They don't have to bring them to our community. Bring them to the white community. Bring them to the suburbs. Bring them to they, 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 the Latinos. Bring them to Latin America. Bring, bring them to the, the Latin communities. Don't bring these people we don't know to come and get our resources and the things we fought for in our, nah, we don't want more competition. We, it's hard enough as it is. We're already in poverty. We don't want people from poverty to come and add more poverty and more problems. When you mix people and you mix chemicals, you get a reaction. So you mix people, you're going to get a reaction. It's going to be tension. It's going to be a culture clash. We don't need that. This is our country. This is not their country. See, all these European immigrants, all these Europeans and white people who live in middle class, these are immigrants. So. Haitians have more in common or Latinos have more in common. Everybody have more in common that's immigrants with each other. 
Seventy-five percent of America is immigrants. Seventy-five percent of immigrants, and in the large part, that's not immigrants or black Americans. A few white people are not immigrants, but they're dying off. Their numbers is dying. My thing is, you don't put immigrants with citizens and people of this country of the lineage. We are the Americans. You put immigrants with immigrants. You put them with the Italians. You put them with the Jews. You put them with you put them with the Latinos. You put them with the Africans. You don't put them amongst the black American. You don't put them amongst us. We don't know these people. And some people saying, but Chicago was founded by a Haitian. Let's stop that lie. Chicago was not founded by no Haitian. John Batista, St. Paul, I can't say that Haitian shit, but John Batista, the alleged founder of Chicago, he was not Haitian. Haitian wasn't even developed when he was born. He's from St. Dominique or Hispaniola, the island that proceeded before the Haitian revolution. He wasn't even in Haitian. He wasn't even Haiti fighting a revolution. He was in America already. He's from St. Dominique. St. Dominique is a French colony. Haiti didn't exist yet. So he was born in St. Dominique. He was French descent, not Haitian. So let's end that rumor. So you're saying, oh, Chicago, Haitian supposed to, no, 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 no. He wasn't a Haitian. He was a, a, a St. Dominique. But yeah, let's end that rumor. Chicago was not founded by no Haitian. It was by somebody from St. Dominique, not Haiti. Let's clear that rumor up. As you can read here, who John Baptiste is, right? It says when he was born around 1750, right? Cool. Okay. Um, we traveled to North America in his 20s, that'd be in his 1770s, right? Cool. Okay. So in the 1770s, that means the French Revolution haven't happened yet. And that definitely means the um, Haiti Revolution didn't happen until 1791. That's when it started. Dang, Haiti didn't exist until... 1804 this man was not from haiti his parents was from haiti his dad was a frenchman his mom was an african slave where do we get haitian from because it's the same island okay check it out right if that was the case how come we don't call haitians and dominicans hispaniolians you know why? Because different people took it over. How come we don't call the United States the 13 colonies or the British colony no more? You know why? Because the British don't own it no more. We ain't the same people. It's different rulership. Same rules apply. John Baptiste was not Haitian. The, I'm going to repeat. The Haitian Revolution didn't start until 17, 1791. He was in America in the 1770s he had nothing to do with haiti or the revolution because at that time it was under french rulership it was just called a, it was a french colony called saint domingue or saint dominique you know what i'm saying these people are lying and crowbarring their way into american history not only that they're saying it's a black american history no it's not he wasn't black back in the 1700s people wasn't called black people wasn't called black until recently Black used to be called an insult. Black used to be, used to be fighting words. If you ask your grandparents, when they was kids, you called them black. Those are fighting words. People was called colored back then. Wasn't people with color. Black Americans was the only colored people. We was called colored. We was called Negro. And we was called the N words. Black didn't exist until like with the late 60s and the 70s. The minute we started saying we black and we proud, that everybody who want to identify as black. That's just not the case. Black is not a race. Black is a classification, it's an American classification for one. For two, it's a black American identity. For It's, 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 a, it's an identity and a classification. It is not an all-inclusive. This is our nationality and our ethnic. We can't let other nationalities and ethnics into our group. Jamaicans are not black. Haitians are not black. Caribbeans are not black. Africans are not black. They have tribes, nationalities, and they have continents, and they have islands that they're from. It's a big difference. Death of the clout chaser. Everybody chasing the clout and we are the clout. Black Americans are the clout. It's the era of gatekeeping, my niggas. Look, we ain't doing none of that inclusive. We ain't doing no lying. We ain't doing no crowbarring. Everybody out. All doors shut, all doors locked, all windows locked. Nobody's coming in. Coons, tokens, and tap dancers, exit stage left. Get the fuck out. Coons, tokens, bad winches, tap dancers, swirlers, jigaboos, and mud sharks. <laughs> My sharks and goddamn <laughs> my sharks and jiggy boots and that bad winches kick the fuck out. 
Hey, yo, man. <laughs> Y'all gotta get the fuck out. <laughs> we ain't doing no more, more jig and boo and <laughs> tap dancing and swirling and bad witching. <laughs> hey, it's a new day, my niggas. And we out, man. Whoa.